What's going on guys? This is Team Up Release. Got my own booster box, so let's get cracking. Let's admire the art a little quickly because I'm really digging the Gengar Mimikyu colour scheme. The others ain't too bad, but yeah, I like the design of the booster box. Whack them out there. My god, these packs are stuck together. Super glue or something, man. No codes this time, guys. I need them because they're selling for a pretty penny when the set comes out. So, energy, Nita, Tauros, Torquia. Volabi, Dratini, Zorua, Psyduck, Imolga, Bronzong, and Absol. Man, these packs are really sick. Yeah. But yeah, I think on release day you can sell them for like easily 15 quid per... Uh, what's it called? 36 codes, so if you don't play online like I don't, you can just knock 15 quid off your booster box. Hey, that Blastoise one looks pretty nice. Damage, at least it's only a common card, right? Energy, Tentacruel, Tupitar, Meowth, Nidoran, Lavatar, Psyduck, Vulpix, and Lack and Rock GX. Sweet. I'm actually going to open quite a few, so stay tuned for that. But mainly I'm going to do a little financial breakdown. I'll put the price of the code, code, price of the GX card when I edit the video. Just note that because it's early on, prices are pretty high and they are guaranteed to drop within a week or two. But you know, First few weeks, uh, yeah, just do it. I can do it every time. Volpix and Zerora. Best time to play a TCG is when a new set comes out because everyone's experimenting and having fun with new cards. Good. Pidgeot. Mm -hmm. Can't hurt your fingers just opening these packs. That's how strongly they glue together. Pokemon Communication and Moltres. That Moltres looks quite nice actually. I like it. Oh. Kind of flop that there, Charmander, Honen, oh, whatever, let's just skip to it. Tabu Koko. Nice color scheme, actually. The yellow with the black border goes really well. Dance of the Ancients. Energy, Spirit Dawn. Ah, whatever. It's not my thing, I don't really like naming all the cards just 
go for the more in it. Zangoose. I think Darium's released. Uh, Darium's released his a uh, 1,000 or 2,000 pack breakdown, or for all of them, I think like 6,000 packs he's done. And you're expected six GXs roughly, a booster rocks, and only two Prism Stars, which is very different from the last couple of sets, where it's like four or five Prism Stars a box. Ooh, Jirachi, apparently. Ooh. Save that thought. Venusaur Celebi. It's quite a nice card, actually. Digging the GXs. Apparently, this is worth something. Let me check his ability to see why, actually. Stella, which one should you return before you attack? If this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you may look at the top five cards on your deck, reveal a trainer card if you find there. And put it into your hand, then shuffle the other cards back into your deck. This Pokemon's not asleep, that's pretty sweet. I can see why it's worth something. The ability is pretty dope. Basically, get a draw any card, an extra card, if it's a trainer. And it's an ability, so you can do it quite a few times. Needle Queen and Erica's Hospitality. It's quite a nice artwork on that actually, yeah. Nice combat card there. Or win more card if you're winning more as well. Empty your hand and then refill it. You don't really need to do the pack trick if it's a green card though, do you? Because it's kind of pointless. Alright, saying that though, we've got a white one, so let's do the pack trick, yeah? These guys look dope. Look at the top card of your deck. Discard your hand and draw five cards. Discard your hand and draw five cards from the bottom of your deck. So if you want to pick the, f if you want to keep the next card that you draw, or chance it with the bottom five, not bad. Yeah, green, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Jasmine, Weedle, Helioptile, Execute, Pharisee, uh, Electrode, and uh, ooh, Cobalion GX. Not bad. Pretty good, actually, for a metal deck. Remove any special conditions. Charizard Rare. Was this guy not a holo? Or is it just in the uh, theme decks? It looks sweet. Pre release one uh, looks pretty dope, man. It's 
It's a shame I work weekends, so I can't go to pre-releases. Okay, what I'm going to do, white code cards, I'll do the trick and go a little slower on the pack. Energy. Do it the way other people do it. Gold Duck. Double Tentacruel. Zora. Larvitar. Psyduck. Vullaby. Weedle. Reverse Zora. And Lugia. Ooh. I'm digging the artwork on this as well. Oh, old school guy, like Gen 1, Gen 2. So, love the old school artworks and Pokemon. Ooh, Shaman. Attached to all of your Pokemon. Whoa, that's a pretty busted attack. Nice little finisher. But yeah, when it's green, I'm just going to skip through it. No need to make these videos any longer than they have to be. Oh, no. White coat card. So we got Energy, Pupita, Electro Charger, Charmeleon, Lolan Grimer, Ponyta, Cosmog, Voltorb, Squirtle, Reverse Skarmory, and... Age Slash. How many hollows we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many GXs? Uh, one, two. Four to six. I really need a higher table so it's like up here so I don't have to lean over so much as well. Yeah, this uh, pack opening is taking a little longer than I expected. It's the first one, so kind of little. It's all over the place actually. Um, Kabuto, Nidorino, Squirtle, Tentacle, Grimer, Pidgey, Dratini. That's a pretty sweet reverse of that Charizard. I'm liking that. And a Gengar Mimikyu. Gengar's eyes look pretty dope on this one. Nice little hit at the end there. Got two more packs. Nothing in that one. Last pack magic? Nope. So what have we got? Below average box, I'd say. One, two, three, four, five. One less. Two prisms is about the same. Apparently these two are worth science, so that makes up for it, I guess. But I don't know any of the prices. I'll add them in post. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.